we're excited to see our partners continue to bring great and innovative new hardware to market. I'd like to invite Mike Angelo from our Windows team to come up on stage and show you some of the exciting, interesting, innovative, productive, and really beautiful new Windows 7 PCs that you'll be able to see. Mike. Hi, I'm Mike Angelo, and I've got a few things to show you tonight. I'm going to start with some of the work that our partners have done on Windows 7, show you the new version of Surface, and then a little glimpse into a technology preview of what's coming next. So here are some new Windows 7 PCs, and I'm going to kind of walk through each one and tell you what's cool about them. The first one, this is about Intel's new announcement. They just announced their new generation, their second generation of their core processors. It was codenamed Sandy Bridge. And what Intel did was combine a multi-core CPU and GPU onto a single chip. And that increases your graphics performance and decreases the amount of power it takes at the same time. PC World says that this gets 20 times more graphics performance than previous generation CPUs. And HP is going to put the new Core i7 into this notebook and expects to get six and a half hours of battery life out of a standard six cell battery, which is pretty impressive. But I'm going to show you performance demo. So this is the Galactic Performance Demo, and it's, and it's an application that was written all in HTML. This is Internet Explorer 9, the only browser that really takes full advantage of the underlying PC to use the GPU to graphically accelerate the web browsing experience. What you're looking at is an animated solar system that's made out of 2D pictures of planets that have been spherized by the GPU. It's really calculation intensive. You can see I'm getting 36, almost 40 frames a second on a mobile PC. A year ago, this was completely impossible. Here's another example. This PC um, is using the new processor from AMD. It, they just announced it. It's called Fusion. It's a multi-core CPU, a discrete quality DX11 level GPU, and a Northbridge all put together onto a single die. They call this an accelerated processing unit, or APU. And what this lets you do is have a really high performance PC in a very small form factor with really great battery life. In fact, HP, by just changing the processor, almost doubled the battery life of this thin and light system to nine hours. And I've launched the IE9 test drive site. This uh, IE site has become a popular way for people to demonstrate hardware accelerated web browsing. And I can increase the number of fish to 250 fish in this tank and get over 40 frames a second. And we're talking about in a PC that costs less than $500 and is this thin and light. So that kind of performance on an ultra portable notebook is really brand new and quite impressive. And while processors continue to get more powerful and more efficient, our partners continue to invent really cool new modern form factors for the PC. So here's an example. This one is from Acer. And this is a dual screen PC. So you can see I have two 14 inch touch screens here. I can, is that cool? You like that one? It looks really cool from here too. And what's neat is you not only have a lot of room for browsing, but I can take 10 fingers, put 10 fingers down on the screen and immediately get a software keyboard that comes built in. Go ahead. We let it out. So I can launch Word here. I have a trackpad. I can do productivity scenarios. It's got that kind of hardware and software integration there in a really cool form factor. Here's an example. This is an engineering prototype of a PC that's coming in March. This is the Samsung PC7 sliding series. And you can see I can slide this closed touch the screen, and then I have a PC that's really good for entertainment. What's really neat about this PC is what it has. It's got a micro SD card, it's got micro HDMI and USB. It has all the things you want in a PC. It's really light, it's about a kilo, but what's really cool is what's missing. This is an Intel Oak Trail based PC, it has no fan. It's light, it's passively cooled, and you can immediately switch in back and forth between those two form factors. This new tablet, you like that one too? I think it's pretty cool. This one I'm going to take a moment to really explain. This is the new tablet PC from Asus. And this is a full power Windows PC. So this PC has a Core i5 processor in it. It ships with this wireless keyboard. It makes a great productivity workstation for maybe a small area like on an airplane or a student's desk. And what you can see is that it responds well to Windows Touch because it has a capacitive touch screen. But because it's a tablet PC, I can also take out the pen and use ink. And what ink lets me do is stuff like, I'm highlighting here in Excel, I can take a pen and say that's as great. 
I can take an eraser, I can erase. And one of the cool things about ink and tablet PC is a tablet PC has handwriting recognition in 26 languages. And you can see this, when I have the pen down on the screen, can you see how my hand is not moving the spreadsheet around? This is one of the reasons that it's hard to do ink on touch only devices and why tablet PCs are so good for ink is because it's implementing palm rejection here. It actually knows what my hand is and knows what the pen is and doesn't get the two confused. Here's a touch only game that I can launch, and you can see the characters following me around the screen, but what I wanna show you here is the screen itself. This screen is really bright, and what we did with ASUS was we worked really hard with them to make sure that this screen would have off-axis viewing of almost a full 180 degrees. So as I move it around here on the camera, you can see that from almost any angle, the screen is really, really bright, and the colors don't shift. And we did that by working together on a process to optically bond all the components of the screen. So the Gorilla Glass on the surface, the underlying LCD, the touch sensor, even the electromagnetic digitizer for the ink are all bonded together as a single unit. And that process eliminates the air gap that's usually underneath the screen. So the screen is not only brighter, it uses 20% less power to actually get that same level of brightness. You can order these PCs starting right now. The page just went live on Amazon.com and the Microsoft Store, and I think they're going to be pretty popular.